Hi guys, it's Wazo. How you doing? So today we're going to be taking a look at 11... 11... I just realised I don't have 11 fingers. <laughs> today we're going to be taking a look at 11 wigs from UVMe. More UVMe wigs. All the UVMe wigs. Technically we're going to be taking a look at 9 wigs from a new collection from UVMe and 2 bonus wigs at the end. So the wigs we're going to be taking a look at first are from a new collection from UVMe. And that collection is called the 2020 Custom Wig limited series so let's not waste any time like i usually do making a two minute long intro especially because this video might be long i feel like 11 wigs is a lot to get through so these wigs arrive as always in a uv me pink bag in a zip lock bag with the wigs in separate bags inside so for these wigs uv me sent two wigs in one of these uv me bags i would assume probably to save on packaging and stuff but Oh, that was a wig cap that just fell out. These wigs do all come with wig caps, by the way. I haven't looked at any of these wigs yet. The wigs do look amazing on the picture, like on the website. I know they are all like styled a certain way to look really good. And these wigs, I would assume, don't come styled. They don't usually come styled. So we're going to see what they look like actually like when you get them. Sometimes it can be a little bit misleading. You can't exactly see what the wig will be like from those product pictures. So that's where YouTube reviews come in handy. <laughs> so I'm going to get all these wigs out and then see like, I want to do it in order of the wigs on the website just so we don't get confused. <laughs> okay, after pulling all of these wigs out, I've realized that there is actually three bonus wigs, not two. We're actually going to be looking at 12 wigs today. <laughs> I don't know how I forgot that there were three instead of two, but more wigs. <laughs> so this is the first wig, which is just named Pink or Pink One. So this wig is $33.99. Apparently it was $50.99, but at the moment of making this video, it is $33.99. So let's take a look. So here is the wig. Straight away, I'm quite impressed by how it feels and how little shine there is, if you can see. I always have a pretty big ring light shining directly on me when I'm filming um, and a lot of the time that can make wigs look quite a bit more shiny than they usually do in like everyday lighting like in natural light but this that looks really good. I have a few wigs that are a lot more expensive than this and give off quite a lot of you know that plasticky shine that you can sometimes get in wigs but this I mean there's obviously some shine but this that looks really good. Also before I continue I forgot to say my little disclaimer. <laughs> I was sent these wigs for free to do a review on them but that is not going to affect my opinion whatsoever. Everything I say in this video is going to be completely 100% honest. The shine on this is really good. <laughs> of course if you want to dull the shine down a little bit more like I think the blue is a little bit more shiny than the purple you can always use just a little bit of dry shampoo. This does also have a skin top if you can see which I always like in full fringed wigs. Here is what the inside of the wig looks like. It's got a sort of closed mesh sort of cap. This also does have clips on the inside. Some wigs have more of a comb sort of thing um, and some wigs have these snappy clips and of course we have the adjustable straps at the bottom to adjust to your head size. The fibres feel nice, the colour blend is nice if you can see, it's got this sort of purpley pink with some blue strands in it as well. It gives this overall sort of purple colour and we have this blue panel right at the front. I do always like things like that just to you know make things a little bit more unique and interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and we'll see what it looks like. Let me just pull this back for a second so I can concentrate a little bit better. So here is what this wig looks like. What do you think? <laughs> Cars are loud. I actually really like this wig. So it does have these bits at the front here if you can see that are a bit shorter which I personally really like. I feel like this wig would be really cute in pigtails. That would be very cute. Oh it's so cute. I like this wig. I love these colours. I love this fringe. I would say we're off to a pretty good start. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the back so we can see what the back looks like if the net shows through. I won't be able to see if the tracks are showing until I edit this video because I you know I can't see behind me. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn around and we'll see what the back looks like. 
I hope I was in frame properly. Oh my god, trying to turn around on this chair is really difficult. Okay, so that was this wig. Honestly, I think we're off to a pretty good start. I like this. I like how it looks. I think I could comfortably wear this all day. Maybe the ends here might get a little bit tangly, but I mean, it's a synthetic wig. They often do if you wear them for a long time, but yeah. I like this one. I think we're off to a good start. That is the first wig. So let's move straight on to the second wig. Let's see if I can do the clicky thing because I can't click very well. Okay, next wig. So here is the second wig. This also has the mesh sort of cap and also the clips and the adjustable straps. So this wig, again, it feels like the fibers feel pretty much the same as the other wig. They do feel really good. It's really comfortable. So this is the blue wig and this one is $35.99. Again, says it was $50.99, but now $35.99. And as you can see, it's the split blue color and purple. The colors aren't too different from each other. So it's not like a striking half and half wig, but the both sides are different. I really like how that looks. It does have a sort of gradient from the roots, if you can see where it's dark and fades into the main color and then fades back to the darker color at the bottom which I love I think that looks so good I absolutely love that color gradient the way it's styled like these waves mm. personally I think I prefer the style of this compared to the other one this length I think is very manageable the fringe on this as well for me is a pretty good length I don't feel the need to trim this obviously that all depends on your head size, you may need to trim it or just pull it back on your head like I like to do because I'm lazy. <laughs> it does also have the little bits at the front that are shorter, which again, I love for framing the face. I do think that this wig is a little bit more shiny than the last one. I think it's this blue colour. I feel like that might just be me nitpicking. I did notice that the blue section on the last wig was a bit more shiny as well. I think I prefer this wig, honestly, to the last one. I think the style is like perfect and I love this gradient. It's just so nice. I don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> Top quality reviewer right here. I know how to review wigs. I wonder if this would be cute in pigtails too. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what it is with me and pigtails at the moment but like god damn that is cute. Every wig needs pigtails. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn around again so we can see what the back looks like. Hopefully the tracks don't show because that would be a huge letdown. <laughs> so let me just awkwardly shuffle around again. <laughs> On the website, I think it does look a bit more like there's more difference between the two colors. The blue is more blue and the purple is more purple, if you know what I mean. I would say this one's pretty good. I could imagine myself wearing this one quite often because it is easy to wear, it's comfortable, it looks nice. I give this wig a big thumbs up. I like this one. And I need to speed up a little bit with these reviews. I am only two wigs in and my battery is already almost dead. Frick, okay, well, um, verdict on this wig. I like it a lot. Next wig. Okay, so this is the third wig, which is called Red. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about the style on me personally. I feel like this could look good on other people. Okay, so the main thing I'm not really a big fan of in terms of the style is if you can see these front bits that are they kind of have like a curl to them. I'm personally not a huge fan of that. I don't think it really suits my face that well at least. Maybe you have a different opinion, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know about these front bits being curly. I think I would rather these be straight. This wig does have a lot of volume at the bottom. I do like the colour. It does look fairly similar colour-wise to on the website. This wig also, I don't know if it's because of like the curls in it, do find it a little bit less comfortable to wear. It does feel a little bit more kind of thick and I don't know I don't know how I feel about this one I think if I were to wear it like properly if I wanted to wear it for a day I think I would want to straighten it I think if it was straight I might like it a bit more the color is nice I like the color and again like no plasticky shine I'm just not entirely sure about the style I think I personally would change it I would straighten it particularly these front bits looking at the picture on the website these curls just looks a bit more neat on the website in this wig it looks a little bit untamed and of course this wig is in an updo on the website which i think probably would be the best way to wear this wig if i could maybe do something with it i think that if i were to wear this i would personally straighten these front bits out at least the rest of it is okay it does feel a bit more 
thick and a little bit more uncomfortable. Um, I don't know if I would comfortably wear this for an entire day. I don't know, let me know what you think of this wig. I think it has potential. It has potential to look really nice. Also, by the way, this wig does have a skin top parting at the top and the fringe is about the same length as the others. It feels thick enough for the tracks to not show, but we'll see. This wig is $33.99, again, down from $50.99. I don't know, there are things I like about this wig and things that I just... I just don't like. It has potential. I It could look really nice. There's just a couple things that stop me from loving it the way it is, but it has potential. <laughs> Let's move on to the next wig. Okay, next wig. So this is the gold wig and it is $36.99. This one again is both nice and also has one thing that I'm not sure about, which is it doesn't have like a fringe. It just has the parting going all the way to the front of the wig, but it's also not a lace front. So it's not the most realistic looking at the front. So let me see if I can zoom in and show you. If you can see looking straight on, it doesn't look the most realistic. Obviously, it just kind of starts. If you want something that looks realistic, this might not be the best, unless you wear a hat, in which case it would be fine. The only way I think that you could make this look natural, like look real, is if you wear a hat to cover up this part, which is probably what I would do, because aside from that little detail of this wig and the fact it keeps like falling into my face, I really like how it looks. Um, I often, I'm often very picky about blonde wigs because I feel like a lot of them wash me out quite a lot. I feel like blonde wigs on me are the hardest to get to look right, but I think this shade of blonde is really nice. Also, we've got this black streak at the front, although again, at this parting here, it does look kind of unrealistic. If I cut off the top in this video, that looks good. I like how that looks, but then, the parting, maybe from far away, it doesn't look that bad, but up close, it definitely, you know, you can tell it's a wig. So this wig is really smooth, again. So far, I am liking the fibers in these wigs. This is nice and comfortable and smooth, and I really like the waves in this wig. I really like the texture it has, especially with the blonde. I think this sort of texture works really well with this sort of color. It doesn't feel too tangly. It's not too too shiny. It's comfortable and lightweight and all that good stuff that we want in a wig. It is just this bit at the front that bothers me a little bit. If you want something that looks really realistic, either wear a hat to cover this or just go with a different wig. I probably would wear this with a beanie. I like the style of the wig. I like the color of the blonde. The black streak is pretty cool, um, although I didn't notice the black streak in the picture on the website. If you were thinking of getting this wig and didn't know about that bit, um, now you know. So if you wanted just an all blonde wig, maybe this isn't right for you. <laughs> Most of the time I don't care too much if people can tell that I'm wearing a wig, but I feel like with wigs like this it's a bit more difficult, like it doesn't always look great up close. Just the parting, which I will, if I wear this out at any time, I will have to wear a hat, which isn't really that big of a problem for me personally. Um, I do often wear hats outside anyway, especially if I'm wearing all black, I like to wear a beanie most of the time when I'm outside, which also helps to give you extra security, like keeping your wig on your head. Yeah, that's my verdict on this wig. And again, the inside of the wig was the same as the others. I feel like I'd need to clip this back also like that. Like, I like how it looks like that. I would just need to clip it. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on to the next wig. This is wig number five, which is royal blue. As we can clearly see, this is very, very blue. <laughs> this is incredibly vibrant. And I just want to say right off the bat, this color is beautiful. I love this colour, it's so, oh it's, it, oh mm. It's such a deep, vibrant royal blue, I love it. It ends in a sort of more purpley colour, so it's like this deep royal blue into purple right at the ends with these nice waves through it, adds some nice body and volume. This one is pretty comfortable and again very smooth. The shine again really isn't that bad. This one again also has the skin top parting. The colour is absolutely beautiful. This is a really nice wig. Oh the pigtail test. I think this would look really nice in pigtails because of the bits at the front. 
I love this so much. I am a fan of this wig. This is a nice one. This wig is $33.99. In the picture, again, it's got the updo. This is what it actually looks like when you get it. It's not, they don't come pre-styled. This is what the wig actually looks like. I'm not complaining. I like the way it looks. I like this one. I will probably get quite a bit of use out of this one. It's comfortable. It looks nice. The color is nice. I love the fade, the waves, the style. So let me just show you the back again. Hopefully no tracks showing. I love this. This is so nice. Oh, frick. I kind of don't want to take it off. I love it. Okay, next wig. Wig number six is the yellow pink wig, although it does also have purple and white in it, but yellow pink. <laughs> this wig is $37.99. As the name suggests, it has yellow fading into pink, but it does also have purple and white. So at the top, it starts purple fading into white, fading into yellow, fading into pink, and then fading back into purple. I just wanna say this gradient is really nicely done. The transition between each of the colors is really nice and smooth and soft. I think the coloring in this wig is done really well. And honestly, I feel like it's quite unique. I don't think I've ever really seen a wig like when, with this sort of color gradient. It reminds me a little bit of like a sunset, a little bit, but then also kind of tropical maybe i don't know it's just giving me very unique vibes i really like it it's such an interesting color blend and the waves mixed with the gradient i think looks so nice the body it has the dark roots fading into the white i think is a really nice touch instead of going straight into the yellow this gradient is so nice again very nice and smooth very comfortable most of these wigs have been really nice and smooth and comfortable this wig again has the skin top part everything to do with the cap is the same i'm sorry if i've been a Looking, like away from like directly at the camera for this entire video. Um, I am kind of looking at my camera monitor most of the time to kind of get a good look at the wig so I'm sorry if it seems like I'm like not talking like directly to you but instead talking to like the side of you. I just realized it might seem kind of I don't know weird that I'm not talking like to you. So this wig doesn't have the shorter pieces at the front it just kind of you know goes straight into long which like a lot of things to do with wigs is personal preference this gradient though oh my god that is such a nice gradient oh it looks so good i love these colors oh frick most of these wigs have been a good experience so far this is one of the good ones this might actually be one of my favorite ones so far we have a few more to get through so once again i'm going to turn around show you the back hopefully the back is all good because this wig is Good. I feel like I'm losing the ability to speak words. I feel like my vocabulary is decreasing the longer this video goes on. Okay, turning around. Here we go. Oh, that color gradient though. I feel like the entirety of reviewing this wig in particular is just gonna be like, that color gradient though. Okay, actually turning around now. So this is one of the only wigs on the website that isn't styled in an updo, which is nice because it lets you see more of what the wig might actually look like when you get it. I would say the picture is quite accurate to what it looks like, which is nice. That's always a good thing. We want a wig to look how it looks on the website that we buy it from, obviously. So yeah, there is wig number, what was it? Number six? One, two, three, four. Number six, wig number six. We have a few more to get through. Six more wigs to get through. Three more from this collection, but six more overall. I hope this video isn't too long. <laughs> Moving on to the next wig. So wig number seven. Seven? Seven. My camera died and I had to charge it for about an hour so it's starting to get dark outside. <laughs> I don't know how to film a video in less than 10 hours. That might have been an exaggeration. Either way I am currently wasting more time. So wig number seven. <laughs> this is the mixed pink wig. It's like mixed pink and purple and like blonde and this one is $36.99 okay this one the colors are I love my warm toned pinks <laughs> so as we can see we've got this warm toned pink on this side fading into a warm golden blonde at the bottom and then a more purpley sort of pink or just yeah I'd say this is more of a purple going into that same blonde color so pink purple and blonde I love the colors in this wig these are some of my favorite colors in fact like this type of pink is like <sighs> I love warm toned pinks and then with it fading into this color with the loose waves I love that honestly I think I would also love this wig if this side was 
the same as this side so if it was this color all the way through and then fading into this blonde at the bottom i would absolutely love that but this one is a half and half wig which you may also know i love half and half wigs so i'm definitely not mad at it being half purple half pink because honestly anytime there is a half and half wig i am probably going to love it <laughs> it's rare for me to find any half and half wig and not like it one thing that is bothering me at the moment though is like this won't stay covering that gap so you can see my wig cap if I pull it down to cover it it's a bit too long so I might need to actually trim this one rather than being lazy and just pushing it back but for now I'm just gonna push it back actually no there we go just fix the problem <laughs> I can just make sure the wig cap is under the wig who would have thought easy fix that I probably should have known <laughs> I'm dumb. Okay, well that solves that. It's still kind of annoying that the gap is there. Maybe I can like train it to stay. I don't know, it just doesn't seem to want to close that gap. But I guess that's just whatever. It's not the end of the world. That's fine, that's fine. It's not a problem. I don't know, unless it is a problem. Why do I review things when I, I, I can't, I'm not, I, I, I can't, I don't know how, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's been a long day my dudes. This wig, uh, <laughs> again, nice and smooth. I love these colours. This is one of the good ones it's so pretty i love this it's so cute this one does also have the front short bits again i love and the loose waves with the gradient again i love this one also has the skin top parting seems that most of these wigs have a skin top parting pretty much all of them do i love this i can't think of many negatives from this one i worry that if i'm too positive it will come across as fake <laughs> i genuinely love this 100 percent honest thoughts this is cute. These colors are everything. The shine again isn't so bad. So I guess I will go ahead and turn around again and pray that the tracks don't show because this is a nice wig and we don't want it to be let down by the track showing at the back. On to the next wig. So this one is a little bit different. At the moment, just like this, it looks a little bit strange. I don't think I would personally wear it this way, but would it be cute if it was all short like that? That's kind of cute. I like that. But we also have a little add-on to this wig. <laughs> we have these. <laughs> so before we take a look at those, this wig is the Grey Red Mixed wig. And this one is $39.99. So let's open this up. I'm sorry, this is like really loud. <laughs> this is not ASMR. This is aggressive sounding material it's just not pleasing to listen to unless you find the sound pleasing but for me it's it's very loud so here are oh they are stuck together we've got some hair nets wrapped around the top here and it's kind of sticking everything together uh, so here we have two braids so we've got one for the silver side and one for the red side or you could mix and match them if you want to so uh i guess let's attach these this is what they look like i don't know why it has this piece down here i guess this piece has more hair coming out of it i just hope that doesn't show you see that might show we'll see what it looks like when it's on so at the top here it's just like a bun the hair is wrapped around then going into this braid i feel like this is going to show because if you can see on this side it kind of like curls round but i guess let's go ahead and clip that on on the reference picture they seem to have little head pieces that they put on here which i think might help make it blend better and look more natural because at the moment i think on this side i don't know i feel like it's quite dark at the top here like to be suddenly you know so there's that side and then let's put on the other side but how do you think that looks it looks pretty cool i think it feels like a cosplay wig but i don't know if there's any characters that have this specific hair it just feels like a sort of cosplay thing because it's kind of a strange haircut to have maybe it looks better when the braids are behind i don't know it's really strange i'm not used to a style like this i'm trying to i'm trying to style it in a way that doesn't look really strange let me try moving these bits behind and then just have the braids so it's more like the whole hair is up does that look better or worse? I can't tell. What do you think? I think I need your help in the comments. Maybe I'm just not wearing the right clothes for this right now. I feel like I need to wear something more like out there and like not just a standard casual jumper. I think I like this wig. I think. 
I don't know. I need to wear some black and red, I think, to pull this off and maybe have some hair clips here where the buns join the wig, I think, would make it look good. I don't know. I am so confused. <laughs> I'm so conflicted. I think I like it. I think this could be pulled off with the right outfit. I am also on the fence about these bits though. I have to make sure that those are hidden. I don't know, I feel like it looks cooler in the product picture. I'm not sure, it's so strange. It definitely wins points on being unique. Do you think this is a good looking wig? Is it, does it, would you wear it? I am so on the fence about this, I have no idea. I think it's a very specific wig. I don't think it could be super versatile. I think you, I think it's a wig that you have to make work. Okay, I think I've decided. I think I like it. It's just very specific. I think that's my verdict. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next wig. Okay, next wig. Okay, so here we have the last wig of this collection. Not the last wig of the video though. Stick around for bonus wigs. So this is the rainbow wig and on the website the picture does show a whole lot of rainbow, which this wig does have under all of the black. So if I just... Oh, that looks cool. So this wig definitely is very colourful. It's just under all of the black. So it's kind of like a subtle, like you're just walking down the street, you just got some black hair, you know, and then the wind hits and it's just like, colour. <laughs> and you can just show that you are very colourful underneath. I like that as a metaphor. This wig can be a metaphor for your life. You have a lot of vibrancy and colour inside. <laughs> that looks cool. That like, that is, that is cool. I don't know if it's weird to have a preference to one side of a wig or not, but like, I do definitely prefer this side to this side. I think because the purple is quite dark, it doesn't have as much of a striking effect as this side. Oh, that looks so cool. So this wig is $39.99. Again, it has the skin top parting, it has this semi- wispy fringe it's not like super wispy but it's also not like super thick again feels great and the shine like this black is really natural looking actually and then you get the color underneath i don't know do these colors look natural to you i mean obviously not like a natural hair color but like if you saw this in the street would you just assume that it's dyed hair or does it look like synthetic extensions i don't really care it looks cool <laughs> in the picture on the website it does have you know the the top layer up like this to show the color this would look cute in pigtails. I'm happy with this and it's a good length. I like this length. This is a very manageable, comfortable length. This is a pretty cool one. I'm gonna turn around, show you the back. So yeah, that is the entire Uvimi 2020 collection. <laughs> Let me know which one was your favorite. But now we are on to the bonus wigs. So let's see if we can get through these last three wigs quickly. These are just bonus wigs, so bonus wig time. <laughs> That was all of the wigs, all of the nine UVMe 2020 wigs and the three bonus wigs also from UVMe. <laughs> it is now dark outside and my hair is wrecked, but that's fine. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I also forgot to mention earlier in the video, you can get all nine of the 2020 collection for $259. I know that sounds like a lot on its surface, like that's a lot of money to spend. But if you were to get that, that does work out for every wig to cost around $29 each. So you are saving a little bit of money on each wig as opposed to if you were to buy each wig separately. Um, I don't know how many of you would want to have 
every single wig in this collection. I mean, I feel like most of them are really good. There are a couple that I am not sure about or a couple that I feel like I could alter a little bit and then get to look good. But yeah, that was all of the wigs. Let me know in the comments which wig is your favourite. As usual, of course, I can't decide. <laughs> this collection in particular, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, there is no way for me to decide which one is my favourite. I can't. <laughs> Maybe I'll put up a little, like, compilation here, like a little reel of all of the wigs. A little recap, help you decide which is your favourite. Let me know in the comments. I guess that's pretty much it so thank you so much for watching if you would like to follow my other social medias my instagram is swayza chan and my twitter is swayza chan with an extra n at the end i do also have a twitch which i have been streaming on fairly regularly to be completely honest my life has mostly revolved around animal crossing new horizon so i've been streaming some of that if that's something you're interested in then you can take a look at the link at the bottom of the description give that a follow if you are interested if not that's fine you know there's you do you. That also applies to my Patreon. Link is in the description if you are interested. If not, that is okay. As always, links to everything shown in this video will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave this video a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have a wonderful day and that you stay safe and I shall see you guys in the next video.